Afrobeat News. Sensational Afrobeat musician, the MO Afrobeat artist, the one and only CK, just became the second Afrobeat artist to have gone double time platinum in the United States of America. Now, I think a month ago, or like at least two months ago, the one and only Wizkid Afrobeat sensation, Baban Lai himself, became the first official Afrobeat artist to have gotten a double platinum certification, to have gotten that you know, incredible achievement in the United States. And to many people, it felt like that was going to be it. There was not going to be any other song that was going to accomplish that feat. But it turns out that to those guys that feel like that was it, they were wrong because CK just became the second official Afrobeat artist to have attained the prestigious feat of selling about 2 million equivalent units in the United States of America making him a double plat selling artist in the US. And this just means that CK have finally penetrated the US to have sold this much units, this much copies of the singular quantity means that CK definitely is doing something right in the US. Aside from that, there's been a picture circulating, I think two pictures circulating online of CK linking up with Diplo as well as the hip hop legend himself, Fat Joe. So, right now, Love Wanting is moving massive and CK is capitalizing on that. Now, one thing we have to acknowledge is the comparison between Whiskey Excess and CK Love Wanting. We've seen both of these songs do amazingly well in the globe, but one thing that Whiskey FC feel is that Whiskey Excess edge Love Wanting globally now i want to clarify that i'm a big fan of whiskey deck sense i think it's a really really good song i'm also a big fan of love wanting tea i think it's a very very decent song now both songs they've done well globally but when you talk about the global domination of these songs love wanting Team by ck takes it that song was global or is global it's just it's literally went through all the continents in the world like it started by blowing up in North Africa, then somehow became popular in the Middle East. Before you know, it became a sensation in Asia. At some point, it was number one in India. And uh, you guys know India is one of the most populated countries in the world. Over 1 billion people over there. It was number one in that country alone to show how influential it became. It even became number one in several European countries as well as Asian countries. It's over time blow up on tiktok then started making its debut in the us official billboard hot 100. do i have to acknowledge the fact that it never really broke through the top 10 or even top 20 billboard charts like the whiskey accents did but it has stayed on the billboard even up till now it's still on the billboard hot 100 charts now with whiskey accents the song became big or blew up in the us predominantly it was as a result of you know us based superstars people like kevin hart snoop dogg kylie jenner pdd many many superstars playing those songs it was as a result of those guys actively or indirectly promoting that song that song became massive in the us it also became massive in canada you know pretty much north america then went on to blow up in europe as well so that song was able to blow up majorly in two continents but compared to like love one Day, it actually blew up almost everywhere i think even in australia right love one Day has been able to get a platinum certification in australia whiskey excellence got the platinum certification in canada but it was just one plus certification love one Day was able to get three times plus certification in canada and this is a song that never had a Justin Bieber feature on it. And Whiskey Excess had the added advantage of getting JB, one of the biggest pop stars from Canada, to feature on it. So if you compare like the songs, the number of certifications, for example, you will see the disparity. Love One C has more platinum and gold certification compared to Whiskey Excess. Though I would say this right, both are big songs. However, globally, Love Wanting the Edges Whiskey Excellence. But when you based it on the US, the US alone, Whiskey Excellence 
it was just the bigger song in the US. Love Weinstein was big, but it wasn't as huge as Whiskey Excess. Whiskey Excess had massive radio play, massive radio push. It climbed up the Billboard charts, top 10. It was just one of those songs that really spoke to the US people and they just loved it way more than the Love Weinstein song. But guys, yeah, tell me what you think about this particular achievements. Are you feeling it? Do you think that CK is right now among the top guys doing it in the game? I'm talking about the likes of Whiskey, David O'Bonner Boy. Do you think that CK has reached that point where we can say at least it's top four right now in the game? And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as turn on post notifications. And stay tuned for more Afrobeats related entertainment and just coming at you. I'm out for now, guys. Peace.